Yeah, uh, you're welcome, uh, beloved. This is another Friday school, and I pray that the Lord Almighty will teach us today. Today we'll be looking into overcoming temptation, but let us pray. Father, please help us, give us the grace to overcome temptations. Help us, Lord, in this season, in this race, that we'll make it to the end. Every grace we need, every strength that we need to resist the devil and to cause him to flee, please give unto your children. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You're welcome today. Uh, last uh, lesson, we, we did temptation. We say that uh, in the Bible, the word temptation is primarily denotes a trial in which man has a free choice of being faithful or unfaithful to God. Secondly, it, is, it signifies the allurement or seduction to sin. So the letter is a desire to engage in short-term urges for enjoyment that threatens long life goals. So temptation is one of the most familiar experiences of a true child of God. And no one can totally escape from it. Even our Lord Jesus Christ in the book of Matthew chapter 4, from verse 1, he was tempted in the wilderness. I trust that the grace, the spirit that caused Jesus to resist the temptation not to fall, will be released upon us today in Jesus' name. Our Bible text is taken from the book of Hebrews chapter 4, from 14 to 16. Hebrews 4, 14 to 16, I read, Seeing then that we have a great high priest that is passed unto heaven, Jesus, the Son of God, let us hold fast our profession. For we have not an high priest which cannot be touched with the feeling of our infirmities, but was in all point tempted like as we are, yet without sin. Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace in times of need. So today we are going to look at overcoming temptation. How do we overcome temptation? The memory verse is uh, Hebrews chapter 2 verse 18. Hebrews chapter 2 verse 18. It says, For in that he himself has suffered being tempted, he is able to succor them that are tempted. Hebrews 2.18 For in that he himself had suffered being tempted, he is able to succor them that are tempted. Because he has been through what we are going through or what we may go through, he is able to show us a way out, he is able to comfort us. My prayer is that the Lord Almighty will comfort us in every trials we are going through at the present moment in the name of Jesus. By introduction, we say, just as we cannot stop birds from flying over our heads, but can stop them from nesting in our hair, so also can we not stop temptation from coming. However, we need to accept them or allow them to take a stronghold. However, we need not to accept them or allow them to take a stronghold. The consequences of yielding to temptation can be disastrous, whereas resisting it bets victory. Yielding to temptation can be disastrous, but resisting it gives birth to victory. We have two lesson outlines in this very uh, topic. The first lesson is the result of temptation. And the second one is how can one overcome temptation? Results of temptation and how we can overcome temptation. Uh, the result of temptation, number one question is what are the possible outcome of temptation? What are the possible outcome of temptation? Because this topic uh, is going to be 
a question and answer segment. So I'll be asking questions and from my response and from my answers, it's going to go a long way to teach us what the Lord has for us today. So number one is, we yield to it or we resist it. The outcome of temptation is you yield to it or you resist it. Hallelujah. Now, number two is what happens when a Christian yields to temptation? What happens when a Christian, child of God, yields or falls into temptation? What happens? Number one is that it becomes a sin. When a Christian yields to temptation, it becomes a sin. Or when one yields to temptation, it becomes a sin. First Timothy chapter 6 verse 9. He said, But they that will be rich fall into temptation and a snare, and into many foolish and hurtful laws, which draw men in destruction and perdition. So, number two, Christian's testimony is badly affected. Once a Christian falls, his testimony is badly affected. He has nothing to show for it. He becomes spiritually weak. The Christian becomes spiritually weak. In Matthew chapter 26, verse 41, you say, Watch and pray that you enter not into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Jesus was telling his disciples they should watch and pray so that they would not enter into temptation. Now, number C, C question is what happened when temptation is resisted? What happens when temptation is resisted? Number one is the Lord is glorified. When you resist temptation, the Lord's name is glorified. And number two, the Christian grows spiritually strong in faith and maturity. The, such a Christian becomes spiritually strong. His, his spiritual muscle gets stronger by the day. The more he resists, the more his spiritual muscle gets stronger by the day. I pray that the grace to resist daily the Lord will give unto us in Jesus' name. And number three, he will be able to resist other temptation in the future. When a Christian resists the first one, he gives him the courage to resist other ones because the enemy will not be at rest. The Bible said the Jesus, the Satan, Satan left, Satan left Jesus for a season. So it means he will surely come back. So if you resist the first time, you have the courage to resist other times. James chapter 1 verse 2 to 4, it says, My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptation. Number 3, verse 3 says, Knowing this, that the trying of faith worketh patience, but let patience have her perfect work, that you may be perfect and entire wanting nothing. Hallelujah. <clears throat> God is happy because the determination of the Christian to obey him is confirmed. God is happy when a child of God resists. No wonder the Bible said there is joy in heaven when a soul is won unto Christ. The angels are rejoicing because you did not fall. I pray that we will not fall in Jesus' name. In Genesis chapter 22, 15 to 18, I will just read uh, verse 15. It says, And the angel of the Lord called unto Abraham out of heaven the second time and said, by myself have I sworn, saith the Lord, for because thou hast done this thing and hast not withheld thy son, we know about it. Abraham did, did not resist to give his son Isaac for sacrifice, and God saw it that he he didn't fail such a test, and God swore that he would indeed bless him. I pray that will be our testimony in the mighty name of Jesus. Now we're going to go to the lesson uh, number two outline. Lesson outline two said, how can one overcome? How can one overcome a temptation? What do we do to overcome temptation? Question one, how can a believer overcome a temptation? It says, the answer is, there are several ways of overcoming temptation. Number one is by relying on God's faithfulness. 
if you rely on God's faithfulness, trust in God's faithfulness, you will surely overcome. According to first book of Corinthians, chapter 1, verse 9, it says, God is faithful by whom you were called unto fellowship of his son Jesus Christ our Lord. First Corinthians chapter 10, 13 said, There had no temptation taken to taking you but such as is common to man. But God is faithful who will not suffer you to be tempted above that you are able to bear. But with, with the same temptation also make a way of escape that ye may be able to bear it. Hallelujah. And uh, he said, by relying on God's faithfulness and in Jesus Christ, who is constantly praying for us. Jesus Christ is constantly praying for us. We can see that in the book of Luke 22 from 31 to 32. And the Lord said to Simon, Simon, behold, Satan had desired to have you that he may swift you are sweet, but I have prayed for thee. Hallelujah. And number two is that by memorizing and meditating and recalling the word of God like Jesus did in Matthew 4. Memorizing when the devil tempted Jesus, he he quoted the scripture, he recalled the scripture by the Spirit. He said, it is written, man shall not live by bread alone. So by memorizing, meditating on those words, you have the scripture in the spirit that you need to resist by constant prayer and carefulness by constant prayer and carefulness jesus said that you should pray always that you fall not into temptation by fleeing according to second timothy chapter 22 by fleeing second timothy chapter 2 verse 22 second timothy chapter 2 verse 22 says flee also youthful lost but follow righteousness, faith, charity, peace with them that call on the Lord out of pure heart. By resisting, according to James chapter 4 verse 7, James chapter 4 verse 7 says, says, Submit yourself therefore to God, resist the devil and he will flee from you. So stay strong in the Lord and do not yield to sin, do not yield to to see in efficient system finally my brethren be strong in the lord and in the power of his might be strong in the lord so by being strong by resisting and by fleeing and by constant prayer and meditating on the word of god by special grace you will not fall into temptation hallelujah you will not be slayed by temptation in jesus name so we we in conclusion we'll be looking at the class activities is a student should mention from experience what happened when they yielded or resisted to temptation you can forward your responses in the in the school the, the class group the whatsapp group and also we are sending uh, the google form uh in this link so please you're requested to fill in in the google form your data just your mobile number and your email address because we are preparing next week we'll be uh, putting forward our quiz our test for the uh, for the uh, section for 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 the quarter we are having our quarterly test and then uh, we are likely going to use as a tool of uh, evaluating what we have been teaching we are putting forward test please don't forget, click on the Google uh, form, fill in your name, your mobile number and email. We'll be sending the test as you respond to us. We're going to give you your mark and we're going to reward you. So I won't tell you what we're going to give you, but just make sure you respond. And then that will help us to evaluate. Thank you so much. So as we're saying in the class activity, students should mention from experience what happened when they yield to s or resist temptation. Class activity to class should discuss other practical things the believer should do to overcome temptation. Hallelujah. A believer will have to pray. A believer will have to make sure he avoid certain places that could make him fall, avoid people that will make you go back to Egypt, that will make you go back to sin. Avoid the places, avoid the people, then always engage the relationship with fellow believers. 
the Bible says, not forsaking the fellowship of brethren. Hallelujah. In summary, a believer either yields to or overcome temptation. So conclusion, avoid falling into temptation. Whenever it comes to fall, it's easy, but the scar often remains. So remember, we can do all things through Christ that strengthen us, including resisting the sin of temptation, the, the temptation that come our path. The Lord will give us the grace to overcome them in Jesus' name. Let us pray. Father, help us to remain victorious over all temptation in the name of Jesus. The grace to remain victorious over all temptation grant unto us in Jesus' name. Please remember, click on the link, the Google link, fill in your data. We're going to forward you with our next, uh, by next week, we're having our test review. We're going to forward you with our questions and then you answer the question within the time frame and we're going to give you your reward. I won't tell you what it is, either an aeroplane or a car, but just make sure you are getting your reward. The Lord bless you. See you next week.